Hi everyone. Welcome to the new video on my YouTube platform. My name is Saurabh Bharti, Microsoft Dynamics 365 professional. Uh this is the next part on the series uh, of Copilot Studio where we are learning the basics of Copilot Studio. We have learned different different options within the Copilot about building the agents. Today we are going to learn about a new topic which is about adaptive cards. Adaptive cards are often used uh, in Copilot Studio to validate information from the customer or the user to ask question or simply to enhance the conversation experience. There are different integration points where the adaptive cards are valid options in the choices and how it looks. If you see on the screen this is how it looks like a demo request you can ask certain informations and the options you can provide and then you can ask it to submit. Now these adaptive cards are written in JSON so we will also explore that how as a non technical person how you can create your own adaptive card without any JSON knowledge or the the technical uh, knowledge about the JSON and use in your uh, copilot studio so let's start uh, and let's start with the existing use case which i have built in last 5 6 videos and see how we can add the adaptive card in that Now if you remember this is the agent i built simple agent which is about the contest so health assistance where it asked for the information it asked uh, it provide the help to the anyone for for the appointment like they want to reschedule cancel or new appointment so let's start and let's check this so let's say if i ask uh, this agent about uh, my appointment so it just asking me couple of options like do you want to have a new confirm or cancel or reschedule so if i click on new so it will ask me for the question that uh, what date you would like to book so let's say if i say 24th april 25 and then it will ask me the email address like abc@gmail.com uh, if i provide and then it is giving me the thank you message Now uh if you go and look at that how this uh, uh entire uh, uh the agent was built so uh I have this agent now where I have created different topics so appointment is my main topic where we talked about triggers and how you ask the questions I have added three four options here and then for each option what I have also we we learned about uh, redirecting from one topic to another topic which is your topic management in the previous videos i have spoken about so when i did the new topic it has redirected to another topic which is uh, nothing but this topic here and it has asked like date and the email and then it has just uh, sent the thank you message now one of the thing which uh, we can enhance here like it has asked the question in a very uh, uh, um, multiple question like asking date and the email Now what if if I want to provide a adaptive card where the user can fill in all this information in one go and submit it and then we capture that information right so that can be done using the adaptive card so how we will do the adaptive card so let's do uh, this for an, another uh, node so let's say I have a cancel option and let's say I want to capture an information where user wants to cancel the appointment and they and then we want to ask them the let's say the name appointment id and the email so that we can just uh, capture that information now so to do so I can click on the plus sign and uh, we have talked about send messages ask questions uh, topic management and uh, adding the actions uh, all these things in the previous videos so now we are going to talk about the ask uh, with the adaptive card Now once this is done I can provide a uh, a name let's say it is cancel appointment right I can do this and then once I do this what I need to do I need to design this adaptive card uh with the JSON Now I am not at all a technical person I don't know anything about uh JSON how I design my form So for that I have got a very good source of the information by Microsoft which is uh, available and I'll provide you the link this, this is adoptivecard.io where you have lot of samples available using which you can create your own adoptive card with on different samples which are available and even you can design and let's see how we can design so to design what you can do you can go to the samples here 
and then you can check like which template is uh, closely related to your requirement so for me this input form is something which is very close and then once you click on this input form you can just click on try it yourself and what it is going to do is that it is going to open a window for designer for you to design your own adaptive card and also parallelly in the bottom it uh, gives you the json which you can utilize for using in your copilot studio so let's learn about this uh, uh, adaptive card dot io designer how you can create so now here if you see i have i, I have got the different components the elements of the card so if i want to have a container image or text box or image i can just drag and drop to this designer here and then i can create my own adaptive card design now what i have done here is this is my design where i have just uh, let's say first is i have taken a text where just i have provided the information then all these things then i have taken an input form where i have given like enter your uh, name and then i have given this uh, like what i want to have a placeholder like a, uh, a, a description available and then on this i also have the id so let's say once this is been submitted by the user i want to save this into my table and that table that the what is the id of or the column name of this specific field which maybe the display name can be something and the backend id can be different so i can define that uh, it is a text so i can even define the style like whether it's a text uh, or what type it is what is the maximum length uh spacing uh i can even define the format that i want the format to be in a this way like if i want let's say telephone number in 10 digit or something i can define that i can define the error message which is there so similarly for email i have defined like enter email and all these thing uh, here and then appointment id i have set up let's say it should not be more than 15 and uh, it is going to be saved like this and then i have defined one of the action button here which is like submitting the information and capturing this so now with that i can also on this so i can define different properties i can have my card structure i can once that is done i can also look at that how this card is going to be look into let's say different apps let's say in the microsoft teams this if i'm going to use this it is going to look like this if i am going to use let's say in a in a outlook then it is going to look like this and so in this like it is going to be the like this in the web chat so it is very very simple how you can create your own adaptive card without any json technical knowledge and this is going to give this now once that is done what you can do you can just copy this json information and what i can do i can go back to my this adaptive card here i can just remove what is already there and paste it what i have designed and then then just hit the save option here it is giving me showing me two errors so let's see what errors this is having so it is saying that uh, submit button missing action is there and the version is not supported let's go back to our designer and i think if you see like somehow i have just removed that submit option i can just simply click on this and say that action dot submit i can add this here and then what i can do is uh, i can just simply uh, uh, rename this like i just want this submit uh, cancel request let's say that's how i want to have this so i can just save this here and now i can just currently i think there is one more thing which is there like it just suppose the version uh 1.5 so i will just change the version here and then i can copy this uh, entire information and then go ahead and go to again the properties and then uh remove the existing json and then paste it again and then i can click on save to save this now once that is done if you see now there is no error here i can uh, save this or refresh and then i can possibly publish this uh, to my agent and after this let's see how it is going to perform before i go and uh, see like so this is how the adaptive card is uh, going to look and then also if you see it is going to give me the output 
so i am going to discuss this step by step in the future video so now how i can get this output like whatever the information is submitted to be saved in any entity table and then possibly after that how i can trigger an email possibly i can use a action or the power automate through the agent to get in the confirmation but for now let's go to our demo website and let's look at like on the cancel is it ask me all this information or not so i can say that is start over so let's say i start again with the message my appointment it is going to give me those four options so it is giving me new and this i click on the cancel and now here we go so now earlier if you remember it was asking me the date and all those things in that now this is a better way of asking the information so i can provide my name here so let's say sorob and then sorob at something if i don't give the right email address then it is going to throw me the error if i don't have the format and then i can put some appointment id now all these validations are also possible in that json you can submit like if it is exceeding not following the format and all those things you can do and once you click on this submit it has reached to the thank you for providing input we are working on this so which is nothing but this specific message from the copilot studio that's it for this video i hope this helps you to understand how you can add an adoptive card into your topic and also an easier way of managing the adoptive card using adoptivecard.io designer as a non non technical person and it is easy to thank you for watching uh, see you in the next one